Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So, got a little uh, series charging board from ViFly. So that would replace something like this, which I've abandoned for many reasons I might get into in this video. Uh, parallel charging 1S Whoop batteries is kind of a pain. Um, not a very productive way of doing it, so I don't do it anymore. Um, but this thing is about half the price of the Whoopster charger, and you can use your regular charger with it. So if you have one of these or multiple uh, chargers, it's kind of nice to have the option to use this to charge all of your Whoop batteries. And what's cool about this is the batteries don't have to be the same voltage, so you can have many different voltage ranges and you can plug them all into the series board, set how many you plug in with this big, giant, robust knob. <laughs> and then you can apply your charger voltage to your series board for half the money, basically. I think this thing's like 12 or um, maybe even 15 bucks or something. Uh, so kind of a cool option. And I'm going to just go through this video of how to do it. So stay tuned. So we'll go ahead and get started here. The first thing we do is grab our power supply. I don't know if you've seen this already on the channel a hundred times, but I got an XD60 out right here. And this is 180 watt, 12, uh, 12 volt, 15 amp power uh, supply. I use this quite a bit um, for the uh, 1S. I use the ultimate charging station for everything else, but for 1S, I've kind of got my own rig. It all fits in a backpack. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the series board all plugged in. So that's the first thing you want to do is get all your LiPos plugged in. You need to determine how many LiPos are you going to plug in. Um, so I'm going to do six of them. So I have my knob turned all the way to 6S, if you can see that. So you want to make sure that you're following that map. So don't plug in two here and then turn this to 2S because that's that's not going to work. 1S, which is all the way down into that position, 2S here, so on and so forth, okay? So we're going to go ahead and turn this all the way to 6S. I want you to notice they have a 5 amp fuse here. I'm not really sure why. Uh, this knob can only handle 1.5 amps. So the entire circuitry goes through the knob, okay? So all the current flows going through that knob, and it can only handle 1.5 five amps which is fine because 6s uh 300 ma 450 ma pack you're, you're never even going to touch that so no big deal uh but 1s 2s 3s 4s 5s 6s catch my drift so make sure you're following that map all right so we'll go ahead and get all of our lipos plugged in i'm going to go ahead and plug in my i made this uh awesome adapter uh for my power supply so i can pretty much plug anything i want into it so go ahead and power on our Q6. Get him out of the way real quick. Let me grab my six LiPos. These are my 450 packs. Uh, this is what I like to use for my uh, Moby Tooth, my little 1S 3-inch Moby Tooth. Um, I also use it on my Underground Whoop League build. So if you ever heard, of, you know, not sure what is a underground whoop league, check it out on my channel. I've got a video um, of a spec whoop racing league, uh, 75 millimeter LED lit. Pretty cool. But anyway, so what's nice about this uh, series charger, I hate to call it, I, if you catch me calling it a parallel charger, let me know in comments. Um, but... The parallel charging 1S lipos is an absolute nightmare, pain in the, pain in the, you know, just a headache. Because you can't parallel charge. Let's say you do a race and you crash out, you get stuck in some wires or whatever the case may be. So you'll have like one lipos at 4.10. And then you'll have one, you crashed a few times, but you finished the race or whatever, and you're at 3.57, 3.8, 3.7, 3.9, 4.1, whatever the case. You can't parallel charge all those because the lowest one on the, on the board will get surged by the other ones. And it's just kind of a, a pain. Um, and then also parallel charging, the weakest link will, will get hit first. 
so it, it really does damage the 1S LiPos, uh, so I don't do it. I don't parallel charge 1S LiPos. So when I seen this and I thought, you know, that's that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, there's another one out there that has like jumper pins and everything. Um, I don't own that one. This is the one that they sent with the Whoopser. So uh, just checking it out. So on this, I have my pH 2.0. And then also on my 65 millimeter uh, 300 Ma LiPos or the BT 2.0. So it's kind of nice. You get both options. Um, just make sure you don't plug them in backwards. So we got everything secured. We're on 6S. I have six LiPos plugged in and we'll go ahead and plug in our balance lead. So this would be, if you want to think about it, this is a 6S LiPo now. Okay, so when I plug this balance lead in, the charger is going to automatically know that this is a, a 6S LiPo. So when we plug this in, you can see, can you see that? I don't know if I want to zoom in on this um screen so then you can't see the rest of it but there's really nothing else going on here so let me let me zoom in just a little bit here all right so as you can see i've done a pretty good job of storage volting you know all of these are pretty close to storage voltage uh, so we're going to go ahead and select here we're going to go let, let's say you're wanting to charge them do you want to discharge them or you want a storage so if you want a storage 3.85, a 6S LiPo. See what I'm saying? So it's pretty, you can do storage or, or you can do charge, whatever you want. And they're LiPos. And then 3.85 is the storage voltage that I want to go for. And cell count 6S. So if you plug in three LiPos, so cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, then you'll change your knob to 3S, plug it all in, and then this should be 3S. Catch my drift? And then current. Here, here's where you want to kind of pay attention. So when you go to current, each one of these lipos is a uh, 450. So they're 450 ma. So point point four five zero point four is one C charge rate because we're pretending this is a six S lipo. Um, so in other words, it's a 450 ma six S lipo. So 0.4 is the correct amperage for charging at 1C. Uh, you can also go up and, and hit it at, let's say, 0.9. That would be 2C charge rating. Now keep in mind that that knob can only handle 1.5 amps, which is fine. We're well under that, right? So if I wanted to char uh, storage charge these, I never storage charge at 2C. I may charge at 2C, but storage, I'm always at 1C. So we'll go back to 0.4. And then we'll go to start. Okay, and then it'll indicate each cell, and it will balance them all out to storage charge. So this should be go really quick because there's nothing to happen. I mean, everything is... It's already at storage. You catch my drift though. So if you wanted to storage your, your lipos, that's how you would do it. And it would bring them all to point 3.85 correctly. Um, so let it, let's say we want to charge them up. We'll go back and we'll stop this. Okay. And then we can click on charge. And then we can come down to lipo and storage voltage or um, charge, charging it up. Um, you can change this for high volt. See if it has a high volt. Right there it is. Okay. So 4.35. And then 6S. Because I have 6 LiPos plugged in. And then our amperage. 0.4 for 1C charging. And then we can hit start. And then this will start to charge all of our LiPos up. Uh, and it'll, it'll go to the correct amperage. And then you can also check your IR. So your internal resistance of your lipos. Once it gets going, it'll take a minute for that to happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this process because honestly, I don't want to charge all my lipos right now. I'm just kind of doing this video for you. Um, I don't have a need to fly these right now. Um, all right. So, Basically, that's how you would you would run that um, with your current charger. So if you have your power supply, you have a charger, you get one of these and you can 
you know, pretty much manage your 1S LiPos pretty nicely. Um, let me zoom out for you here. All right, so hopefully that will answer some questions for you um, on the series charging board. Uh, pretty neat device. And to be able to use your higher end or higher quality chargers for, I think, around 15 bucks uh, seems like a pretty good solution. All right, so that's how to use the uh, Vifly series charge board. Uh, pretty neat device. Um, now, I do have the a couple of the Whoopster uh, chargers, um, so I, I do use that. Uh, this is something that would definitely come in play for like my ultimate charging station. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> so uh, that thing has really changed the hobby for me. And now in the 1S category, having a backpack ready scenario has been pretty nice. So, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about that, let me know in comments or if you've used this and you like it or you hate it or whatever the case may be let, let me know i'd like some feedback on this as well um but yeah if this video helped you out or was into entertaining in any way shape or form you know give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it <laughs> and you give me a thumbs down it all works enjoy the breeze